Hello, welcome back to lesson number three. Um, let's go first connect our import new. What you're going to do is you need to add the Cyber PI. Hit connect. Com7. You can see green check mark is successfully connected. Uh, if you didn't watch my lesson one and two, please go back and watch, and I will. Uh, give you in detail how to connect all the configuration and uh, extensions so i already connect all the extension in here so what we need to do here is today lesson uh, we will show you uh, if you if you watch my lesson number one uh, we show you how to move forward and move backward so today we do move forward move backward but in uh, in a centimeter and in the distance so what we need to do here is first we go events then click button okay put it over there and go back m chassis so lesson number one we use move forward 50 rpm and today we're going to use move forward in a centimeter until done so what we are going to accomplish here is that Ember to move forward certain distance uh, in centimeters okay until it's done so it will forward 100 centimeter until done so if you do it back uh, duplicate move backward forward 200 centimeter until done this is a good uh, uh, scenario that if you want to uh, have a specific place a uh, limited area that the embod neo needs to travel example that thing if you embod neo okay uh, embod neo needs to travel so let's let's think about that you have a space have limited so this is like a deck somewhere in the kitchen or some in your room that you don't have a space much that you have only this is a small space right so get a tape and uh, check how much so if you if you can make a cross in here make a tape uh, and and measure how long to this like this is x and this will be y okay uh, so you have two uh, place that you don't have enough room to go so think how much uh, length in here so think if you example if you get like maybe 200 50 uh, centimeter long from x to y Oop. i don't know why my y is not clear let me go back and draw this again okay so my y so this is my starting point x and my end point is y and the when you use a tape measure and you uh, measure from x to y and you find out there's a 250 centimeters okay and from here you turn left from the y and you have much space to go here okay so this will be y to z okay so now in here you have me proper 150 centimeters right so how do you accomplish this it's very easy so now you move forward as you can see in this diagram move forward 250 centimeter 250 centimeters okay i'm not going to use this for now let me go and show you 250 centimeters you go forward no why okay now you need to take a left 
so my previous uh, lesson number two I will show uh, uh, teach you how to use the turn left and turn right so if you didn't watch please go ahead and watch uh, lesson number two on previous lessons so you turn um, left in here so you are going to you are going to take a left in here right so this is your 90 degrees uh, options you need to use in here 90 degrees turn left and after that you go straight to move forward again 150 centimeters so you start from from x to y to 150 centimeters you measure so you can use that 250 centimeters and you take left 90 percent degrees take left and you go again 150 centimeters okay so that's how you do centimeters that if you don't have enough space and you have limited space or you have something uh, like that's objects some objects uh, like a ball or or chair you know uh, something like that uh, <laughs> it's like a, like a dog <laughs> uh, that's fine so you have a pet okay so you have a pet so maybe you can measure you know how much from x to uh, let's see x to the ball is again y how much is 10 centimeters uh, cm and again from from uh, ball to the for the pet here maybe 20 centimeters and take a you know take a round and come back again to the x like that so probably uh, to x to y the ball 10 centimeter from y to uh, again z to the pet another 20 centimeter from z to because we need to take uh, all the way back right so because see you can see all the way back to uh, probably b <coughs> so b and come back again to x so now what you did here is uh, let me put that now 10 from x to y 10 centimeter okay from you going to uh, put uh, weight because you're going to wait so let's think about this is something you doing a project that uh, stop here and do some calculation or wait for another few minutes and go back to the the location you want to go so wait for one second or maybe two seconds okay and you need to go back again move forward and this time you're going to 20 centimeter to the uh, z location okay so now you into the z location 20 centimeter now you need to take all the way uh, curve right you need to go take a curve so so this option we're going to uh, talk about in my uh, next uh, upcoming lessons because you need to do some uh, coding for this for now let's think that you need to uh do some uh, angle okay so what you need to do here is uh turn left okay turn left 90 degrees so actually it's not 90 degrees you need to go all the way back here right so what you need to do here is how about we put 45 Five, sorry you put 45 uh, so this is going to be turn right 45 so it will go here stop here somewhere in here so I'm going to do move forward 
to another 10 uh, centimeters and do another turn right 45 okay and do another move forward 10 10 centimeters and again turn left 90 degrees okay you can do some changes and see how this is going to work okay now this i will show you uh, like a like a few examples how to do a like a curve thing but there's a way we can do in the coding but this is a good starting point to you know learn how this is going to work if you watch my free lesson you will understand okay so let's do some uh, uh, some uh, modification to this uh, coding so you can you know you can do some testing and you will come all the way around here and now you go 250 250 centimeters back to the x okay you don't need to do all these things you can use 180 degrees it will turn back again so if you come here in the 20 centimeter without 45 if you mention 180 degrees you will go the same direction you will turn into the same direction you will go from here so it will come to the this 20 and go back again same direction we'll go the same direction it's not going to the same this way right 180 degrees you will go back again so if you want to do a, like a curve thing so you need to go 45 and you know find out how much uh, um, you know how, how room space so you can do a, like angle thing you know you can be creative and you need to use your um space to figure out how much uh, you need to uh, make a curve and go back from for back again to the y mm, sorry x the same location okay thanks for watching uh, this video and we'll see you in the next uh, lessons thank you